Hi everyone. Today I want to share with you my system on how I use my market dots and my uh, post-it flags and my dew drops. I've had a couple of questions and so I thought I would answer it on a video so that I could explain it a bit clearer. I'm hoping it's clear. The system gets a little complicated so I'm try I really try to explain it as clear as I can. If you still don't um, understand or you have questions or if I've confused you, I'm so sorry. But post um, any questions or comments that you have below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Hi everyone, it's Mary. I'm up in my room again just because it's nice and quiet here. Plus, oh my goodness, last night I had a major thing happen. My garburetor literally exploded. <laughs> I guess I didn't check my garburetor before I started to, uh, you know, grind some food in it. There was a temperature thing, you know, the stuff that you stick in your turkey to make sure that um, it's cooked and the temperature inside is right. I don't even know why it was there because I haven't used it in a while. But anyhow, uh, it was in the garburetor and I grinded it up and it it actually tore my garburetor apart. There was actually two holes in the garburetor. When I opened up the bottom of the sink, I had fish pieces all over the sink. So my kitchen right now is crazy. I cleaned it all up, but I am now deciding to organize the bottom of my sink. So I'm up here and I'm going to answer a couple of questions that I had um, in my comment section. And I've written it down on that pink sheet there. I got a question from Southern Couponista, I believe her name is. And it says, how do you use the market dots? So First of all, this here are my market dots. And I got blue, which is for my son. Pink, which is for my daughter. Black is for business. Yellow is for myself. Purple are for uh, special home tasks. Red are for important things. Green is for my husband, and orange is for family. I just store them right in this front pouch, and this pouch is a Martha Stewart pouch, and I just um, took my crocodile and I re-hole punched this Martha Stewart uh, protector page with the um, flap, and I like the flap because in it, I know that these are not going to disappear or fall out of my planner. As you see, the, this is my system. So the the flags are for task, and the tasks are the green is business, uh, purple is special home um, task to do, and this aqua blue is for tasks that I have to do outside. Dark yellow is for weekly home task. Um, red is for monthly home task. Yellow light yellow is Mary's task. Dark green is Chris's task, pink is Lexi, and dark blue is Jordan. And then the little dots are to do. And the black is business, purple is home and bills, red is important, yellow is for Mary, green is for Chris, pink is for Lexi, blue is for Jordan, and orange is for family. And then the do dots, like I said before, are activities. So any reoccurring activities I put on here so I don't have to rewrite them every week. So yellow is for Mary, green is for Chris, pink is for Lexi, and blue is for Jordan, and red is for important. These, I find these very expensive, these little Martha Stewart dots. These uh, sheets usually will last me if I really push it a month or two and sometimes I really can get right to the end of the second month so um, I, I and I don't use these that often I'm really using a lot of these I'll show you how my system works for the market dots 
Hold on, let me just feel my way. I have all these little tabs so I can just open up the section I need. Okay, so this is my week two pages, and it's the Filofax Family Organizer Layout. And as you see, I basically put a dot on almost every activity on my um, weekly calendar. The only thing that doesn't have a dot are like, for example, here when my son was sick at home. It's not a to-do, so I just want to note something, and that's why I have no dot on there. And also like my um, my meal planning, it's really not a to-do, it's more of a note, and so I um, don't put any dots on there. But any action or any to-do that my kids um, or myself or my yes. like have, I put a dot on. So there's a lot of dots on here, but I love these dots. I have to say though, one thing I don't like about these dots, well, they're very tiny, which I love, but if you um, are not very good with small things, it's very hard to place it where you want. It's tiny. It's really, really tiny. I think it's 1 18th of an inch. But I do like the fact that it's tiny because then it looks nice and neat on my page. And as you see, I have a lot, so it looks busy. But why I do use it is because I'm very visual. So I can look at the grid because there's, you know, columns and rows, right? So I can see that Lexi this week is like super busy because there's so many dots in that week. But I can look going downwards on the day and she's not so busy on that day. She just has this one important thing. Me, on the other hand, I have more tasks too, so I'm a little bit more busier. So that's how visually I can see how busy each member of the family is without having to read the specific thing that's happening. So I, like, the reason why it's important to me is that way I know, okay, well, you know what? Um, I am busy, so I'm going to need some help. So i got to make sure Chris understands how busy I am or my kids understand how busy I am. Or for example, this week where Lexi's got exams and she's got dance and all that, um, I know that she needs more support and help and, you know, understanding because she's got a busy week. Visually, it just gives me an idea of how busy each member of my family is. Like Friday. So today I've got like two things that I have to do. So I've got to make sure that, you know, I'm busy with the work section. So I've got to do that. And that's a real um, glance at my day because I have a separate section for business. And my business section is right here. And I'm not, like, I put one dot in here, and these are for, like, just really important things. That is how I uh, work with the little market dots. It, it's a visual guide for me to show how busy each member of the family is or each section of my life is. I also got a tip from Shelly Belly Forever. Hi, Shelly. She posted on my comment section about how she's thinking about doing something with her master list and putting it behind um, the fly sheet to protect it and using a um, dry erase pen. So that's what it is. So I tried, let me see here. I tried to implement that here. This is a sticky note for lists more than it is to cover anything up because I have top five here and I don't need that anymore because I use the top five in my week on two pages, I'll show you um, here. See, that is my top five sheet. So like today, I don't have very much going on. It's just, I only have four items there. So um, here I can just jot some to-dos with a dry erase and then I tick off all the things I've done um, on my, my routine, my daily routine. So I don't know if that's going to work, but I'm trying that out. So great idea, Shelly. Thank you for the tip. And also, uh, just to show you, these things here that I got from the dollar store, it actually came in two sections. So all these colors, but it had two, two rows of it. And what I'm using this for is as a highlighter. 
<laughs> because I can't use highlighters on the Filofax paper because it's so thin because it bleeds through and it really bothers me when it bleeds through. I use it as a highlighter to highlight different things for my family. So um, let me just show you. Here, blue is for my my son, green is for my husband, yellow is for me, orange is for family, and pink is for my daughter. So I just highlight uh, for my family member. And you'll see it. I use it on this weekly sheet too. These here are those little um, thin flags and I use it to highlight because I don't want to um, have things bleed through. Now this one here I haven't cut yet because um, it's actually sticking out and it's reminding me that I have to call my sister-in-law because we have to move my parents anniversary dinner again because she has something that she uh, forgot about and so we're going to have to reschedule that so that everybody in our family can come. So um, that's how I use the highlighters and how I am trying out this idea of Shelly's with the daily routine behind my fly leaf sheet and using the dry erase pen. So we'll see how that goes. I had a question from Mam1060. She asked if I write on my flags or in my planner too. Do I throw them all out after I, I'm done with it? So this is my flag system like I showed you before. Let me just, okay, so you know my categories, right? I've gone through it. What I do with the flags, if it's a task that I think that I might not be able to do that day, I write it on a flag so that I can continuously move it um, further onto the dates if I don't accomplish it. But if it's a, a task that I know I'm going to do, for example, I put sewing tutu, I knew that I was going to get that task accomplished that day because my girlfriend was coming over. So I just wrote it in pencil and I used a yellow uh, highlighter, sticky note thing to highlight that. So when I'm done the task that um, I think that I might not accomplish. Once I've done it on that day, when I've completed it on that day, I take the flags when they're facing horizontally right now, when they're completed and I it's not reoccurring, then I just face it, I turn it vertically so I know that that signals in my mind that these are done. And if they repeat, like, let's see here. Mm, do I have anything here? Grocery shop. These are repeating tasks that I do outside. So I just move it along. Um, and one of the reasons why I do this is, I've told you guys before, I'm a little frugal sometimes on certain things. And I don't want to waste these flags. So why would I rewrite a flag like grocery shopping when I know I'm going to do it again next Thursday so I just move it along and it saves me from using up too many of my flags and then that way I don't have to buy a lot of them. Um, so I like that system and that's why I write it in, on a flag because the whole point of repositional is to move it. So if I haven't done a task, I move it, I move it, I move it until it's done. And once it's done, I face it vertically so that it doesn't move anymore. And these are tasks that will not be done again in the near future. This one here was to mail out a birthday card for my friend. And so, um, you know, that won't happen until another year. So it's, I'm not gonna move it on to the next year. So I just faced it up because it was done. This one here was to um, put windshield washer fluid in my vehicle. And I don't know when that's going to be redone, so it's not a repeated one. Um, so I faced it up. But I had this going, like I think I initially had it set up for last week. And I kept on moving it to the current date until I completed the task. And this one was to mail out a check. Uh, to a dance competition so I kept on moving it until I've completed the task and when it was done it faces vertically and then this one here was to cut the tutu material now this one <laughs> I think it was two weeks before I finally got it face facing vertically because um, it was completed and 
you know, see last minute because we had to start sewing the tutu that day. So I didn't do it until the last possible minute. <laughs> but it was done. So that's how my system works. This here saves me from writing all the time. And it also, it works for me. I don't know. I just, I, that system works for me. And then what I do is I also put, um, let me just go to my current page here. I write my weekly tasks on a, um, on these dark yellow flags because I know these tasks repeat. And instead of me writing it over and over every week, what I do is when I accomplish it, I just move it on to the next, uh, week. So these are like, well, I've got a lot of tasks because I wasn't able to do a lot of things because my garburetor exploded. So this is Thursday and Friday tasks. Um, so you see I've moved Thursday's tasks that I haven't completed onto Friday. And then once it's done, I will move it back onto the following Thursday. So where's Thursday? Here is Thursday. So I'll move it onto here. So um, that's how I use my flag. Oh, another thing that I just wanted to review with you is um, I have the, I started to try to use the grocery list here and I went grocery shopping and I brought this, this whole binder and I don't like it. I find that the A5 size to take around um, in my grocery cart is just too big. So um, I do like listing the items in here, but I think I'm going to just rewrite um, it on a small sticky note and I'll just put it in my personal because I like carrying out carrying my personal around and that's why I have this as my um, outside planner uh, because it's a nice size and if I open it up it's I can handle it with one hand someone asked me if I end up uh, writing everything twice because I have two binders Sorry. I really don't um, not really because what I do is these are point form things that happen in the week, right? So like, for example, today, um, I never rewrite the weekly tasks because they just move on and on and on. And these are great because they're such good quality. I don't think I have to rewrite these for, I don't know, I'm even thinking four or five months. Whereas the Martha Stewart dewdrops, they tend to lose their stick. They only last a month or two. I do rewrite that, okay, my daughter has an exam today because these are my just things that I need to know when I'm outside of the home because if I have to pick up my daughter, I know that she finishes at this time. Um, I also wrote down that I should color my hair because... I haven't been coloring my hair and it's been three days now that I've had this task to do. So I just want to keep it as a reminder in my head even when I'm outside of the home. I've got to transfer some stuff for the business. Um, I have to pick up a check um, when I'm, you know, outside of the house. Uh, I don't know why this is... Oh, it's purple. Um, this here, I had to get my husband to install the garburetor, which is done. And I also messaged my friend because it was her birthday. I'm not sure if, if she watches, but if you do, happy birthday, Lynn. Um, I have to wash my car. My car is so like dusty looking. and My vehicle is black, so it looks really bad. So I've got to go to the car wash today. Um, and then it says here I have to prep for um, painting the bathroom. And then uh, business, I have a 1 o'clock in service that i got to make sure that there's coverage at the store. So it, it repeats, but not really. And if it repeats, I think it's more detailed. But I, like, I don't have to um, write down... Um, 
My daughter has ballet because I have it on these dew drops, and so I'm not rewriting it. It's just this is just moving things over. Everything's just moving things over. The only things that really have to be rewritten are super important things that I really have to get accomplished. And then here is just like um, my appointments that I try to do. Uh, I don't find it too much. I really don't. Some of you might, but to me, it's working out quite well. Okay, so that um, are basically all the questions I've had in the last couple of days. Uh, if you have any other questions, please post it and I will try to make some time to either answer you um, through a posting on YouTube or a video response. So thanks a lot, you guys. I hope you're having a great day. I have to go now downstairs and reorganize the stuff that was under my sink and it's not a pretty job <laughs> so take care bye well there you have it there is how i use my market dots my martha stewart dewdrops and my post-it flags i really enjoy the system it's really been working for me it's kept me on task most of the time. I mean, there are days where I don't feel like it and, and I'll move a task on to the next day or something may happen where I fall behind. But it's pretty easy to catch up again because I'm on top of things and I really am enjoying it. I hope this was helpful for you. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, again, um, just post it below and I'll try to get back and answer you guys as soon as possible. Thank you. Good night.